going on, tacticians? This is Imperator Davius, your fedora-wearing Reshiram, owner's host of Tactical Knowledge, coming to you with more Tacticians Monday matches! So, let's just get off to this. We've got two uh, very interesting battles to show. There will be a special uh, video preview uh, tomorrow, perhaps. I don't know when, it, when I record it, but in any case, we're going to start off Tacticians Monday matches with a double battle between me and Mario, the champion of the Tacticians tournament. And I think he... No, I think it was, yeah, I think it was Mario, but he's going to lead off with his Kartana and Garchomp, and I'm going to lead in with this snake-themed team that uh, only just recently finally managed to complete. But in any case, I'm going to send in Drake. He's going to get a little Intimidate off and a we can summon them stats a little bit, and so but and I'll switch him in from from him to Sylvester. My my I forgot the name of my Pokemon, Serpera. There we go. In any case, that was a very critical hit uh, from the Garchomp's Rock Slide into a gate. My my Steelix. I keep forgetting I'm forgetting some of these Pokemon names. But in any case, the Kartan is going to go for a Sacred Sword, I believe, into a gate. That's going to activate my weakness policy. And I'm just going to sit there and get a Rock Polish off. Because everybody knows, weakness policy Steelix is best Steelix. But Mario's going to switch out his Kartana. He's going to go into a Porygon 2 P2D2. And I'm actually going to give this uh, Porygon 2 the special attack increase. That's not what I want. But, well, I'm going to take another Rock Slide for my trouble. Sylvester is going to glare down the Garchomp. And, well, that's that's not a very happy Garchomp. But, the gate's just going to sit there and get more stats with more speed thanks to another Rock Cost. So now I'm at, like, plus four speed and plus two attack, plus attack. And I think this is a good time for Sylvester to, you know, protect himself. Because everybody knows what happens when a Steelix gets a weakness policy set up. Rock Slide isn't going to miss, and I'm going to go for an Earthquake. Let's see how much damage this does. I believe it does quite a fair amount of damage. Yes, it does to the Garchomp. Porygon 2, not impressed. Uh, Mario went for a Thunder Wave, forgetting that, well, Steelix is ground and Steel type. So, I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm into the Porygon 2. Sylvester is going to go for that. Rock Slide is going to come out one more time. Uh, Sylvester is not looking pretty here. Sylvester gets a critical hit. That critical hit mattered, really. And we go for an Iron Head into the Porygon 2. Not enough to bring bring it down. And Porygon 2 is going to take advantage. What is with all of these crits? What is with the crits? That's like four crits in two... In two rounds. Ugh. But, in any case, Porygon is going to switch out. I'm going to bring in Coraline, my Milotic. And I'm going to stare down a Ve Venom, the... Venom the Requinite. Oh my goodness. I, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting some of these names. In, that, in any case, another Rock another rock Slide is going to come out from the Garchomp. He's really trying to flinch me. Unfortunately, a gate does not flinch easily and goes for another Rock Slide. Or, not another Rock Slide, another Earthquake. So, bam. That is the Garchomp down. Woohoo! A fair bit of amount of damage to Venom the Araquanid. That's the Garchomp down. So, all in all, everybody's looking good. Alright, now Tapu Lele decides to come out. He's gonna go for a Psychic Surge. gonna set up the weird battlefield. And now out comes, oh boy, it's the nightmare everyone knows. The Psycheum Z Psychic Attack from Tapu Lele in the Psychic Surge. Ignore the motorcycle in the background. Why is there never any place quiet for this Rushman to record? But in any case, Sh Shattered Psyche is gonna come out. Coralina is gonna uh, bounce around and... Whee! Barely survives. Meanwhile... The gate is gonna stone edge the venom. That is nice. I finally hit one of those thing, one of those uh, one of those stone edges. I always miss them for some reason. Meanwhile, Coralina is just gonna you know take a take the chance to do some skull damage to Tapu Lele, and gonna take some chance to get some leftovers back. So already, this is looking like a very very close battle in terms of you know in terms of what I can do with the snake Pokemon. But I'm going to go for another Protect and I think, okay, what can we do here? 
gonna go for, my opponent is gonna go for another sacred sword into a gate now that a Kartana is no longer negative one attack does a fair amount of damage but a gate is still strong enough to survive gets the iron head off onto the Tapu Lele Tapu Lele drops like a sack of wet rocks wait does how does that work out but in any case I'm gonna take some more leftovers damage and I'm gonna survive for another turn P2D2 is out on the field not looking too good I believe Mario down to his last three now I'm still sitting at five but I think this is the turn where I lose a gate yeah that's the end of a gate's reign of terror she did very well for a Steelix but Kartana is gonna get gonna get some uh, attack boost thanks to that beast boost and Coralina is gonna take the chance to take down P2D2 all right, so that's the Porygon 2 down, and I'm gonna take some more time to, you know, recover some health with leftovers. So, Coralina has been around for quite a while now, and now out comes PK Thunder. Oh my goodness, this was a nightmare. Let me tell you, that thing is a nightmare for me. But Drake's gonna come out, gonna negate some of that plus one, gonna drop the Kartana's attack back down to neutral. Which is good because I can't afford to have that thing at plus one. It will snowball, I know from experience. I'm gonna send an Enigma my snake. I'm gonna send an Enigma the shiny survivor. Meanwhile, Colleen is gonna have gonna have Corley protect just in case. Cartana goes for the leap blade. I was actually expecting that. I was not expecting PK Thunder to thunderbolt my Enigma. Oh poor Enigma. He tried his best, but that's the end of my snake. Meanwhile, Coralina is just going to sit pretty and going to get some more health back like so leftovers. Now it's time for Drake to come into the field once again. Going to intimidate the Kartana, drop his attack to negative one, so that is good. Meanwhile, PK Thunder is still on the field, a very big threat to my team. And now I'm going to bring in Kristen, my Dragon, or Dragonair, Dragonair, MP Dragonair. But Kristen's gonna take that Leaf Blade. It does not a lot of damage. Drake is gonna glare the Kartana because that is the biggest threat to my team right now. And PK Thunder's gonna, well, Thunderbolt my Drake. So that's the end of Drake, my, my Arbok. Oh, rest in peace, Drake. He tried his darndest. And now I'm down to two snakes. I believe I'm down to two snakes, Coralina and Kristen. So I'm expecting either a Thunderbolt in or a Leaf Blade into Coralina, and Kristen's gonna take this chance to Dragon Dance, so I'm gonna try to gain some stats. I need all the attack power I got, or I can get. And PK Thunder does indeed go for a Thunderbolt into Kristen. That is really not good. And well, Kartan is gonna go for a Leaf Blade into as I expected into Coralina. Coralina's well, protected that turn so she survives and gets some more health with leftovers so this is where the battle actually does turn and I get a nice waterfall damage I get the flinch to PK Thunder that's good I double up into PK Thunder hoping for burn burn actually helps me out here and the Kartana is paralyzed oh my goodness that turn was beautiful I could not have wanted a better turn for my snake team but in any case, I'm going to gain some health. PK Thunder is going to lose some health thanks to the burn. Everything is going peachy. And Kristen's going to go for another waterfall into PK Thunder. That's awesome. So that's the end of the Magna Zone. And I'm expecting a Leaf Blade. And I decide to go for, you know, recover. Try to keep my health up as high as possible, expecting the Leaf Blade. Kartana instead goes for the Night Slash into Kristen. She barely survives that thanks to the step thanks to the negative one i'm gonna go for a dragon rush see if i can get some damage off it's not very effective i was really hoping for a flinch i don't think i get flinch either way i get the scald here it's not very effective either but the cartana doesn't have a lot of special defense cartana's not paralyzed does not get flinched goes for night slash knocks down kristen that is the end of my dragonair but it's also the end of the Kartana because Coralina is still on the field and decides to go for an ice beam to bring down the Kartana. Oh my goodness, that was that was very, very one-sided. Well, almost one-sided. 
It was really actually very evenly matched right up to the end. At the end, I think I was losing. But for our next uh, battle, we're actually going to have a multi-battle between four people here. going to have me, Damon, I believe it's Kojima, and I believe also Ash Flame, perhaps, I believe. I forget who was, the, who was my partner in this. I, sorry. I, uh, yeah, no, no, wait, it was Snorlax, yeah. Me and uh, Nicotine, also known as Snorlax, we're gonna go into this dump, into this multi battle here. So I'm gonna lead with Furfo, my partner is gonna lead with a Noivern, and, my, and our opponents are gonna lead with an Alolan Ninetales and a Buzzwall. So already this battle is not looking too good for me, for my little Furfo here. But my, my partner goes for a Switcheroo, which is the. I believe it was the Toxic Orb. Yeah, it was the Toxor, Toxic Orb for Light Clay. And our opponent is going to go for an Aurora Veil, so that's not good. Not good. So, yeah. But I'm going to go for an Echo Voice. This is my this is my Tibid Nature Max Special Attack Echo Voice Metronome Furfo set. Unfortunately, my poor partner's Noivern goes down one hit from Stone Edge. And... This buzzwall starts to really snowball, and um, I mean, I, I mean, really, really snowball. So it's gonna take some, you know, take some damage from my echoed voice and some from the weather, but it's not a whole lot of damage. So part, my partner brings out Kyurum fused with a uh, Zekrom, I believe. This is why you don't bring in a Zekrom. That, just saying, I'm just saying. In any case, my opponents go for they go for Moonblast into Zekrom or Kyurem Zekrom. He takes that up pretty good. I go for another Echo Voice into the Buzzwall. I'm trying to bring it down because I know that's going to be the biggest threat. My partner goes for a I believe it was Outrage there. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and unfortunately, the Hammer Arm comes down and knocks down my allies Pokemon once again. So already we're down two Pokemon to their none. This is not looking good for me, and I'm gonna take some, you know, take some more damage from the weather. Another turn of damage. Echo Voice is at two now, thanks to yeah, two turns of using it, so starting to get really powerful. But that Aurora Veil, and I think the Buzzwall is running an assault vest, so it's not doing a whole lot of damage. And my opponents, well, they decide to put Snorlax here to sleep. So that's going to be a Snorlax. Well, I know Snorlax likes to sleep wherever it wants to. But I'm going to go for a third Echo Voice. You can see here it barely, barely survives. And unfortunately for my Furfro, maybe strong. But it just, oh my goodness, my poor Furfro did not have enough strength to survive. So that's another attack boost into the Buzzwall. I believe it's at plus three now. Yeah, I believe it's at plus three. And my partner is taking a nap. So this is not looking good for my t for our team. So yeah, that's n it's not looking good. Take some toxic damage. Toxic is starting to add up, but it's not doing enough. And now I decide to bring out my Mudsdale. So I'm thinking, okay. What can my Mudsdale do? Maybe my Mudsdale can tank a hit. Unfortunately not. I'm going to take a freeze-dry shot to the face. I'm going to get some stamina. Defense boost. But, unfortunately, the Buzzwall has other plans for me. And bam. Down goes my Brianna, my Mudsdale. That's, the Buzzwall is going to get some health back. I'm going to take some damage, and I'm going to go down. So that's now plus four Buzzwall. If anyone knows more about uh, snow or snowballing uh, beasts, ultra beasts, it's me. So that's a buzzle that can pretty much one hit KO anything we've got now. And well, it's not looking good. Now it's down to my team is down to our last two Pokemon. I pull out the rush ran my partner is and his Snorlax. His Snorlax is taking a nap. I'm thinking, okay, what can we do here? Unfortunately, my our opponents have other plans. Once again, I'm gonna get a, another hypnosis. Why can't my why can't my sings hit that often? Okay, so I'm gonna take a snooze here. My restaurant takes a snooze. Our opponents decide to go for another leech life into the Snorlax. Snorlax 
does not survive the hit. And all it does is give the puzzle wall a nice health boost and down goes my partner so far. So yeah, 1v6, I've got this. This Rushy Ram has it in the bag. 1v6, people, 1v6. So the Aura Veil wears off. I'm still sitting pretty, I'm just gonna take a nap. Right, my opponent goes for a Moonblast. This Moonblast should have done a little bit more damage, but because I can take neutral damage to fairies and my Soul Vest, I survive. I'm still taking a nap. Alright, my opponent goes for a Hammer Arm, but it misses. I have one last turn to maybe turn this battle around. I'm not really going to turn this battle around, but maybe, just maybe, get one attack off. Just one, just one knockout. That's all. That is all I was asking for. I do wake up and I get the fusion flare off and knock out the buzz wall. Oh my goodness. I have never been so proud to just knock out one Pokemon. And indeed I did. I only knocked out one Pokemon. So I'm like, okay, let's see. Can I knock out a second? The answer to that question is no, as the Mega Heracross comes out. And, well, it's just not going to let me have any fun. So the Heracross is going to go for a Rock Blast. I get hit with the 1. Get hit with the 2. Get hit with the 3. That's all it takes to knock me out. That is the end of the Reshiram. I faint. And that is the end of the multi-battle between me, Kojima, Damon, and Nicotine. So I hope you tacticians enjoyed this battle. Tomorrow I may upload a very funny battle between me and Kaylee in which she knocks out my Arceus, my cosmic power Arceus with weakness policy with a stuffle. Until then, I'm a fan of I'll see you tacticians next time. Bye-bye! the point where you can't go on just come to me you'll be safe from harm if you trust in me then i'll trust in you there's nothing more that i need to do if you put your hands in front of mine we'll be shining through